I'm no good. At all. What are you talking about? All this time I've been thinking about how to defeat Sin. But I... Beyond the teachings of Yevon, I... I know nothing. I'm sorry. You know no apologies. But... Apology is running. Yuna never run away. <laughs> Thank you, Kamari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Yevon's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. Must know both sides to find answer. Both sides. Micah knows much. Find him. Make him talk. That's it! Kimari, you rock! <clears throat> to Bavel, then. Through the front door. You worried? I'll be fine. We can't stop now. Maybe we'll find answers in Bavel. Hey guys, I just had a great idea. It was my idea. Let me tell them. It's like this, yeah? I just thought... The hymn's the key. Ah! The hymn? Sir Jack likes the hymn of the faith, correct? Yeah. That's why he was listening to it in Makalania. Sin, violence incarnate, listening peacefully. Uh, I know it's you, old man, and I don't mean no disrespect, but... No, it's fine. I've gotten used to it. Let me say it. If we attack Sin head-on, we've little chance of winning. However, if he hears the hymn of the faith, he will become docile. Yeah, and that's when we make our move. Uh, might be against the rules and all, but who's keeping track, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, it could really work. Yeah, yeah, it's worth a try. Sin appeared. A terrible war raged between Bavel and Zanakan. When the armies of Bavel attacked Mount Gagazet, they heard a song echoing across the snowy slopes. Tis a song from an other world, they said. The soldiers panicked and ran. And then, as if to pursue the retreating armies, Sin appeared. Some time later, scouts from Bavel braved. On the other side, they witnessed the ruins that had been Zanakant. The city destroyed, not a single soul left standing, gone. In its place, a multitude of the faith had gathered on Gagazet. They were singing a song. It's the song we now call the Hymn of the Faith. And that, as they say, is that. Well, maybe not all of it. Would you like to hear the rest? 
Rumors flew in Bethel of our sin's sudden appearance. They said that the people of Zanakan became the faith that they had called sin, and that the man responsible was none other than the summoner Yevin, ruler of Zanakan. Yes, the Lord Father of Lady Unleska. On the eve of Zanakan's destruction, Lady Unleska had fled to safety with her husband, Zeon. Later, the two used the final summoning to defeat Sin. Yet the people of Pavel still feared Yu Yevon. It was to quell his wrath that they revered him and first spread his teachings. And so were born the temples of Yevon. I suppose it's possible Yunaleska had planned it that way from the start. A fair trade. She defeats Sin in exchange for her Lord Father's honor. Of course, there's no proof. No, the facts are lost in the mists of time. And who'd admit Yevon was an enemy of Pavel? You can bet the temples had a hand in covering that one up. And that, as they say, is that. I'd like to hear more, would you? Let me tell you about the hymn of the faith. It was one Susanna Khan song, sung in defiance of Bevel. Of course, the Evan clergy of Bevel forbade it. Then, as these things often go, those who disliked Heaven began to sing it. The Al Bed, for instance. The hymn of the faith became the symbol of defiance against Yevon. Yevon could do nothing but capitulate. They lifted the ban on the song and spread a new story. They said the hymn was a song sung to soothe the souls of the dead. And so saying, they took the song and made it scripture. That's why today, the hymn is sung all over Spear. You could say that though Zanakam is gone from this world, it lives on in the song. Ah, but look at the time. I've rambled on again. I do love stories, you see. Well, I owe you my gratitude for hearing this old scholar out. 